Hi everyone, it's Heidi again. Not too long ago, we reacted to George Carlin's bit, Religion is Bullshit. And a lot of you guys said that we should also react to the George Carlin 10 Commandments bit as well. So we're going to include that too. I really loved the first one that we reacted to. So I'm excited for this one. <laughs> for those of you who don't know me, I'm an ex-Mormon, not religious anymore. Sometimes people assume that I'm some religion in my videos and I don't know where they get that. So I thought I'd just be clear. <laughs> if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Come see me on Twitch. I'd love to talk with you live and let's do this. Now, folks, here's something else I got a problem with. The 10 commandments. Here's my problem. Why are there 10? You don't need 10. I think the list of commandments was deliberately and artificially inflated to get it up to 10. It's a padded list. Here's what they did. It's an even About 5,000 years ago, a bunch of religious and political hustlers got together to try to figure out how to control people, how to keep them in line. They knew people were basically stupid and would believe anything they were told, so they announced that God had given them some commandments. Up on a mountain, when no one was around, <laughs> God had given them the Ten Commandments. But let me ask you this. When they were sitting around making this shit up, why did they pick ten? Why ten? Why not nine or eleven? I'll tell you why. Because ten sounds official. Mm -hmm. Ten sounds important. They knew if it was eleven, people wouldn't take it seriously. So what, are you kidding me? The eleven commandments? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's a ball. But ten. <laughs> Ten sounds important. Ten is the basis for the decimal system. It's a decade. It's a psychologically satisfying number. The top ten, the true. ten most wanted, the ten best dressed. So having ten yeah. commandments was really a marketing decision. <laughs> and to me, it's clearly a bullshit list. It's a political document artificially inflated to sell better. I'm going to show you how you could reduce the number of commandments and come up with a list that's a little more workable and logical. <laughs> We're going to start with the first three, oh, no. <laughs> and I'll use the Roman Catholic version because those are the ones I was taught as a little boy. I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not have strange gods before me. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Thou shalt... Oops, my headset just died. Hold on. It happens to me almost every day. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Keep holy the Sabbath. Right off the bat, the first three, pure bullshit. <laughs> Sabbath, Sabbath day, Lord's name, strange gods, spooky language. <laughs> spooky language. What does it even mean? Designed to scare and control primitive people. In no way does superstitious nonsense like this apply to the lives of intelligent, civilized humans in the 21st century. You throw out the first three commandments, whoosh, you're down to seven. Next, also honor number. thy father and mother. Obedience, respect for authority. Just another name for mm. controlling people. The truth is, obedience and respect should not be automatic. They should be earned. They should be based on the parent's performance. <laughs> parent's performance. Yeah. Right. Oh, man. This was, what, 15 years ago? Probably more. And he nails it right on the head with that one. <laughs> the whole... Oh, just kind of blindly obey your authorities or your superiors huh, has led to so many issues in people's individual lives and with large groups as well. It's actually crazy how long it's been since I've actually reviewed the Ten Commandments. These ones that he's listing, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. How interesting. <laughs> just maybe a month ago or something like that, do you guys remember how the state of Louisiana, I believe, passed a bill that all public school uh, classrooms had to have a copy of the Ten Commandments in their classroom? That was really interesting. I wonder what's going on with that now. <laughs> it is still so weird for me to see examples of religion and state or government kind of mixing. It's just so ugh, icky to me. But it is interesting that I've had a lot of thoughts about certain Mormon practices, certain just Christian practices in general, and I've come to very certain conclusions about those, at least when it comes to my own life. But the Ten Commandments, I just have not really thought about much. I haven't thought, oh, what are my thoughts on the Ten Commandments? So this is really fascinating to me. It's kind of reminding me that this is even a thing still. <laughs> so I'm laughing, but I'm also like, my gears are turning on this one. 
some, some parents deserve respect, most of them don't, period. <laughs> You're down to six. Now, in the interest of logic, something religion do. is very uncomfortable with, we're going to jump around the list a little bit. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Stealing and lying. Well, actually, these two both prohibit the same kind of behavior. Dishonesty, stealing, and lying. So you don't need two of them. Instead, you combine <laughs> them and you call it, thou shalt not be dishonest. And suddenly, you're down to five. And as long nice. as we're combining, I have two others that belong together. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Once again, these two prohibit the same kind of behavior. In this case, marital infidelity. The difference is coveting takes place in the mind. And I don't think you should outlaw fantasizing about someone else's wife. Otherwise, what's a guy going to think about when he's waxing his carrot? <laughs> But marital fidelity is a good idea, so we're going to keep the idea and call this one a great idea. Thou shalt not be unfaithful. And suddenly, we're down to four. But then you have to think about, okay, unfaithful to whom? Unfaithful to your religion? Unfaithful to your wife? you got to specify, apparently, because interpretation is a serious thing. <laughs> But I see what he's saying. But when you think about it, honesty and fidelity are really part of the same overall value. So in truth, you True. could combine the two honesty commandments with the two fidelity commandments and give them simpler language, positive language instead of negative, and call the whole thing, thou shalt always be honest and faithful, and we're down to three. <laughs> thou shalt, there you go. thou shalt, they're going away, they're going away fast. <laughs> thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's goods. This one is just plain fucking stupid. <laughs> Coveting your neighbor's goods is what keeps Coveting the economy going. <laughs> all right? Your neighbor gets a vibrator it's that plays business. Oh Come All Ye Faithful. <laughs> you want to get one too. <laughs> Coveting creates jobs, leave it alone. You throw okay, out coveting, coveting, you're yeah. down to two now. The big honesty and fidelity commandment, and the one we haven't talked about yet, thou shalt not kill, murder. The fifth commandment. Kind of a big deal. But when you think about it, <laughs> when you think about it, religion has never really had a big problem with murder. Not really. More people have been killed in the name of God than for any other reason. Yep. All you have to do... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All you have to do is look at Northern Ireland, the Middle East, Kashmir, the Inquisition, the Crusades, and the World Trade Center to see how seriously the religious folks take thou shalt not kill. The more devout they are, the more they see murder as being negotiable. Mm. It's negotiable. Justifiable. You know? Error. <laughs> History is so crazy. And it still is. It depends on who's doing the killing and who's getting killed. So, with all of this in mind, I leave you with my revised mm. list of the two commandments. <laughs> Thou shalt always be honest and faithful to the provider of thy nookie. <laughs> and thou shalt try real hard not to kill anyone. Unless, of course, they pray to a different invisible man from the one you pray to. <laughs> not acceptable. Two is all you need. Moses could have carried him down the hill in his fucking pocket. <laughs> and if they had a list like that, I wouldn't mind those folks in Alabama putting it up on the courthouse wall. As long as they included one additional commandment, thou shalt keep thy religion to thyself. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming. This one was interesting. Thank you. Oh, hello. Oh, wait. It's still going. We still have, like, another minute and a half. What is he doing? There we go. Is, was this in New York City? Because you guys have let me know that he grew up in New York City. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the ending of one of his shows. That was fascinating. <laughs> it wasn't until I left the Mormon church that I realized how weird it is that one of the Ten Commandments is thou shalt not kill. But <laughs> we, we learn about so many different murders and justifiable murders in scripture. 
uh, in religion. It's really quite fascinating. <laughs> All of them are, of course, situations where God gives the okay in this particular case, <laughs> which is crazy. So that's interesting. It sounded like back in the day, Alabama was having something going on with the Ten Commandments in the courthouse or something. Uh, do you guys know about that? Because I don't know much about that. It reminds me of the Louisiana situation that's going on right now, though. When's it going to end? Probably never, because people do have a hard time keeping their religion to themselves. I mean, even I'm here on YouTube talking about that I used to be Mormon and I'm no longer. I'm being public about that. I'm sharing that with people. It's normal to share your religious affiliation or your political stance or your belief in whatever with the people around you, especially with the internet now. Um, it's very easy to spread your beliefs or thoughts about something for a large audience to see and maybe be influenced by. So I don't think that's going anywhere. I don't mind when people share what they think about something. I think that's good. I think that we need different opinions. I think we need different ideas of beliefs and give ourselves some different thoughts sometimes. Echo chambers are, are not great. It's good to talk to people with similar beliefs as you, but it's also good to talk to and chat with people who may have a differing opinion. So I don't mind that when it comes to the keep your religion to yourself. I do mind when people try and tell you that you're wrong and they're right. Like you'll see people in not just my comments, but just comments around the internet saying things like, you know, Jesus is the only way or come to Islam and you'll find the truth or whatever. And it's just like, stop acting like you know better than me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, I, I feel like nobody knows better than anybody. You can share what you think. You can share what your opinion is and what your beliefs are. Stop trying to force that on somebody else. But then again, that's me trying to let people know <laughs> that that's how I feel and that's how I think other people should act too. So I don't know. Religion is hard, guys. <laughs> it's a weird thing that's in this world. I don't think it's going away anytime soon. Everybody's just doing their best. This one I didn't laugh as much at because it was definitely very thought provoking for me. It's something that I haven't really thought about much in a long time and I'm glad that we watched it. But I do think it's cool that George Carlin could bring kind of controversial issues like this and topics into a setting where people can laugh about it and bring it into a, a more lighthearted sense. I respect that a lot. So anyway, those are my thoughts. What are your guys' thoughts? <laughs> Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for recommending this video to me. Let me know what else I should be watching or what your experiences have been. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.